Solo, mit mir ein Herangehen. I just printed uh, uh, a core mold and I already had this for a while. Uh, this was when the second uh, hobby furnace burned through and um, I was planning to cast this in the um, mixed stuff with the silver in it, but uh, now I'm thinking um, I will try the 4% uh, titanium alloy that is, uh, well that seems to be used, I found a website from an, from an Indish um, company that, that produces uh, non-sparking tools and such things from uh, from that alloy. It's 4% titanium and it seems to be better than beryllium copper. So I will try that out with the next. Should be a good uh, application for that. Um, yeah, that's basically a, a split pattern and uh, core box. I will fill that up with some silica sand and uh, uh, sodium silicate. Let it dry and then uh, now we will see and we'll make up a mold and we'll make some fresh alloy uh, copper with some fresh titanium directly um, 4% because I'm kind of worried that uh, titanium will react with the nitrogen and um, form kind of hard particles and over time um, this will um, make the alloy more brittle and, and less castable and things like that. So you, I think it's better to make it fresh. So I filled up the uh, core mold. I think I will let it dry like that. It's compacted. The uh, Pins were not really usable. I found it to be uh, easy to, or, or just put the stuff in a little more and then um, put the mo uh, two halves together and, and rub them against each other, other until the excess sand squeezes out. And then I just removed the top and I will now just let it dry like that. I could cure it with carbon dioxide, but I don't think it's necessary. I'm not in that uh, much of a hurry with that. I will just let it dry. So this will be the core for this core print. And then uh, I will cast this X, as I said, out of the beryllium copper substitute. Hopefully that will work. I had to make a new flask. This time I spent a little more time, I reused those um, casted uh, connectors and drilled the holes. Nice with brass stuff. This is also, I think it's bucky rye or something, some tropical hardwood with a nice texture on the inside so the sand will stick and it's big enough for the axe head and maybe some other stuff. As I said, I um, was uh, researching a little bit, uh, couldn't find much about the uh, copper titanium system. But there's some old patents from the 30s. And um, there's a manufacturer in India that makes the stuff and uh, they claim that it is better than beryllium copper for non-sparking tools and uh, conductive springs and things like that. So, uh, yeah, we'll try that. I also find a um, paper from a Japanese uh, university, a technical university, where they uh, did some research on um, how the nitrogen content in the system influences that and up to 0.2% it's actually beneficial to get a little bit of nitrogen in there and after that it makes the material um, a little brittle so I will make a fresh uh, batch 
and hopefully that will keep the nitrogen in the alloy in the beneficial region. So here's the uh, drag with the imprint of the exit and I want to put in the core, hopefully that will work. Oh, looks good. Now we'll close the mold and uh, prepare the metal. Okay, have some copper in there. The rest is there and uh, 40 grams of titanium. It's actually 42, but uh, close enough. And I will repeat the procedure last time. I will preheat that and plunge it into the liquid copper. And uh, then I will do this mold, cast this mold, and hopefully I get an exit. that was enough. That's sad. I mean I was thinking about doing one and a half kilogram but uh, yeah maybe next time or maybe it is filled I don't know but it didn't fill up to the top I mean the vents are smoking and yeah we will see so I will be back that has cool, cooled down and let's see. So unfortunately that uh, was a failure. Um, I didn't melt enough material. Also it was kind of on a cool side so yeah. So I have to remelt this part, make a little more the uh, properties are quite nice. The small end here, it was, um, no, not here, some kind of 
on the on the spur. I was trying to break it and I had to hammer it hard. Um, so the material property seems to be fine, or seem to be fine, but the um, the X head uh, was a failure. So try that again. Um, I have to wait till tomorrow because I have to make another sand core and it has to dry. But uh, this was a logo. Yeah, it was just. Not enough material. So anyway, uh, so I will cut that down, try again tomorrow, and we'll see. So it's the next day. I just cut um, the failed piece apart, and it felt quite uh, promising. It's really. Um, hard and tough material. I also tried to um, cold forge it and it's still quite malleable so I will try to put it through a small rolling uh, mill. A hand crank one that I have, a small um, metal rolling machine to see if I can uh, make some springs out of that. I'll just uh, cut a piece here and, and put it through the rollers. And yeah, um, I was just impatient uh, last time. It wasn't hot enough and it wasn't enough material. Other than that, it should work fine. So I just uh, tried some rolling on this thing and uh, The material where there are no inclusions, it works fine. Had some problems with some inclusions where it then broke. But there was a casting that was too cold and it was uh, directly in the front where all the crap accumulates. So, well, I've cut this piece out. So, so we'll kneel that again and try to get it to a relatively thin wire. So I rolled that piece out a little more and this is now the annealed state and it's quite tough and springy even in the annealed form and yeah so quite interesting properties. So a little further with that seems to work quite nice it's springy And, I mean, this was a crappy piece of metal with a lot of incursions in there uh, from a, from directly the end of the top of the uh, molten metal where it solidified with all the crap in there. So, seems to work for uh, springs. Um, I also, um, I mean now I have to wait for the core to to dry basically, but um, when the egg set turns out to be usable, I will at some day have to set up this pottery furnace for heat treating because this material can be precipitation hardened and uh, what it does is basically you have the alpha phase with the titanium in it and it's kind of oversaturated and when you heat it up for a little under 500 C for a few days yeah you need a few days it's quite uh, an effort you get the titanium to precipitate out as small um, inclusions in the alpha grains. So with that you will harden the material and 
Another important uh, effect is that you basically dilute the mixed alpha phase so that those um, crystals have um, a lower titanium content which means that you increase the strength and also which is uh, a nice thing increase the electric and the thermal conductivity of the material so I've gone so far and uh, I'm not sure if you can see that started to crack here a little bit I mean this is full of inclusions and probably a pretty dirty part but uh, yeah usable spring material I would stop there and wait for the core to solidify that I can test the X cast the next, uh, the next time hopefully this time it will fill up the mold and uh, I will also cast it hotter don't be impatient a little hotter will give you rough surface finish not too not hot enough will give you uh, an unusable part so it's always better to get a little hotter if you're not sure well that was really promising now it's quite thin I pushed it even further and now it really feels like piano wire of the same thickness so this is a chopped up failed uh, attempt it's about 870 grams I think I will top that up to one and a half kilogram to be sure and try to cast that thing again uh, still the 4% titanium maybe I will go a little higher maybe more towards 5% as this stuff is still quite malleable um, and I want it to be a little harder for the X I mean I could um, H harden that thing but then I have to set up that uh, pottery furnace and run it for days and um, that will just go for something between four and five percent titanium so this is uh, a moment before casting and just wanted to show you I've um, put three big risers on top of that X because I um, the X head because I had problems with shrinkage. I mean the first attempt wasn't filled um, completely, so I cannot say, uh, tell if it's if it was really because of shrinkage or just because the mold didn't fill, uh, fill. But just to be sure, I added those two risers, and uh, yeah, I think I will now. To the uh, second attempt of the titanium copper X head and yeah um, hopefully this time it will fill the mold and give me a usable result that's uh, about a thousand 58. Ah, uh, should work. Hopefully. Oh, let's Okay, this time it filled the mold. So yeah, we will 
see. At least it's filled. I was uh, filling up to all of those risers and so unfortunately another failure still too cold but well, this time I had enough material and um, I mean you can see it here when it's hot enough it will flow nice and build a sharp edge, fill the thin um, thin gap, and gets quite strong. Kind of bend that or break it with my finger, even if it's less than half a millimeter. But then it seems to have cooled too much, and here you can see it's uh, yeah, it's basically too cold. So as it is Sunday today and I don't want to annoy my neighbors, I will wait um, till tomorrow to cut that down and remelt it. Then I will heat that up to 1150 something and hopefully that will be enough. I think I will also, um, well, I will also maybe just left it that, like that and, and cast directly into the thing. I mean, I, I thought I could catch a little bit of the dirt or whatever, but um, yeah, yeah, another failure, again. But yeah, with a new ally you have to uh, experiment around and get the melting point or the, the casting temperature right and yeah, I'm in that process, so... Another short thing I wanted to show you, I just hammered this on wood. And the first hit it didn't do anything, then I hit harder and it, it bent it. It took a uh, quite a hard force, and I cannot see how hard that is. So if I can manage to get this cast, it should be a nice material for tools. If so, I um, inspected this part a little more the next day, and um, I realized what I did wrong. The core was too moist because it filled on top uh, on the yeah, top end or on the on the edge on the furthest part, but then it got pushed away by the escaping steam and uh, yeah, this big gap here. There wasn't any sand falling in or so. So I think I will just redo it. Uh, this time I will. Um, put the core in a kitchen oven for an hour at 250 C to drive all the moisture out so that uh, it will not push the material away and cool it. So this is a uh, titanium copper exit, attempt number three. This time I uh, dried the core in the kitchen oven for one hour at 250, so hopefully that will be enough to drive all the moisture out and uh, also simplify the mold a little bit. This way I may get some dirt in there, but uh, at least it will fill it. And this material seems to be so tough that even small inclusions wouldn't hurt an axe head. So. Give it a try. Well, it's not even more than holy fuck. This is not good. Put that. 
seriously. Is it only the flag? Or? Ah, okay. It is more than what the flag kind of plugged it. So, try that again. Well, it is still more than enough. Yeah, it seems to flow. Okay. So, I have to keep that in mind. That the, the slag kind of forms a semi-hard surface that may keep the material from pouring out. So, I just had that problem. So another interesting thing I found out. So yeah. Now I have to let that cool down and yeah, fingers crossed, huh? Well I also did one of those um, castings on the aluminium and wow. I mean just listen. And this is bending and I could or, or flexing and I could bend it without breaking. And yeah. This is crazy. This is clearly like beryllium copper or even better. So yeah. I will have to do a fourth try try. Um I think I messed it up because uh First it was uh, clogged by the, by the oxide layer on the top and after that it was too cool, so. Right, anyway, I will have to uh, try it again in a few hours, uh, take a break and then give it a next try. A small thing that I want to show you. Look at that, it was a fresh uh, blade, or a fresh disc, and I only cut one of the X head castings and look how it, yeah, just edit away. I mean, don't have anything else, I think there are probably uh, special discs for tough bronze stuff and, and beryllium copper and things like that, I mean, if you want to grind beryllium copper, I think you need a quite good protective uh, um, gear so just wanted to show you that so I will do a, a fourth attempt and yeah we will see okay Trying to get desperate with this thing. I mean, the material properties, if I can get it to fill the mold, I'm gonna form a casting that, that is filled and you no know, defects. Should be an ideal material, I would even say, uh, superior to steel for things like axes and hammers. But, uh, yeah, it's a pain in the butt to cast. Anyway, I will be back in a second uh, when this is cooled down. So finally, a usable part. I just uh, poured directly into that 
cavity on the um, on the core and this time it filled even the logo is readable readable and uh, or readable yeah. the only little flaw is some sand in that corner here but I don't think that it uh, matters too much so yeah I will call that a day and uh, tomorrow I will finish that and put a handle on and make it pretty. I'm cleaning that up now. So far it looks good. Um, yeah, this is uh, kind of sad that I have this small imperfection here, but other than that it looks actually quite was quite a lot of work to figure out how to cast this stuff it's quite challenging but um, you get a material that is as good as steel or even better and I think that's worth the effort. I mean, you don't want to build everything out of this material. This is a special material for knives, hammers, axes, maybe even wrenches or something like that. For most applications, it's total overkill. I'm not even sure if you can machine. I mean, you, you should be able to machine it, but I don't think it is pleasant to machine, let me say it that way. So yeah, clean that up. We'll see how that turns out and then maybe I'll do some chopping tests in the next days, but it would be nice to compare it to a uh, commercial made axe. Just see how it reacts, for example, when there is a, a normal nail in the way. Um, yeah, we will see. Well, the site with the logo also cleaned up nice. I mean, there's uh, all the sand in here. This failure with the, or this, this flaw with the uh, corner. I cast it in here. And it flushed all the dirt in here. There must be some sand or some debris falling into the mold without me noticing it. Uh, but anyway. So I mean, uh, it's not perfect. But it's an axe, not a piece of jewelry. I also have, um, we'll have some dirt in there. But I think the material strength is big enough to compensate for that. It's not much. And I'm not even sure if it goes deep into it or it's only surface. We will see that when we grind the the um, the bevel for the edge. Because then we will have to go a little deeper. And if there are no inclusions in there, well, and it's probably only surface stuff. So yeah. I think I will take a break now. So I'm uh, sitting here on the balcony just cleaning it up with some uh, emery cloth. There's some uh, inclusions in the surface, but I don't think that's that much of a problem as I cannot see any in the spur area here. So it, uh, it's only a surface problem. And then, yeah, of course, the kind of debris here. But hey, uh, it's handmade. So, yeah. Just cleaned that up. There's some surface inclusions, but as you can see, this circular thing, or circular area, 
without any that was a spur so pretty sure it's only surface stuff I don't want to grind it down more it was a pain in every part of the body as you can see how green my hands are copper dust reacting with the sweat and then you get yeah quite hard to get off and also quite annoying but I think the properties of this material are worth the effort so yeah that's me casting in a uh, beryllium copper substitute the 5% titanium alloy and so far it kind of looked good I mean it was um, hard to cast I needed this is a fourth attempt and uh, so pretty sure the material is uh, kind of dirty would be better to just make it and cast it and not remelt it three times but um, yeah well, that's it for me and uh, thanks for watching and see you next time